Hi everyone. Okay, so today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to upload your self-portrait to your Unit 5 digital sketchbook on page 9 and how to lay the pre-made grid over on top of it. The first thing you need to do is you need to get your self-portrait photo uploaded to your Chromebook. You can do this through the drive, you can do it through email. However you get your photos to your digital sketchbook, make sure you have your self-portrait photo ready to go. Once you have your photo on your Chromebook, you need to insert it into your digital sketchbook and you want to fit it perfectly within that green rectangle. If you don't see the option to insert, hit the drop down arrow on the right hand side and the toolbar will show up. Go up to insert, down to image, and then you can upload from the computer, which is what I will do, or the drive or photos, wherever your photo might be. Double click on your image and it will show up in your digital sketchbook. Now you'll notice that my photo is much too big to fit within the green rectangle. It's too tall and too thin. So what I need to do is I need to crop it so that it fits perfectly within that rectangle. What I don't want to do is I do not want to warp it or distort the photo in any way because that will mean that the proportions and the scale of the self-portrait will be completely off. So do not grab the little blue squares like so and then try to make it fit perfectly within that green rectangle because you'll see the proportions are completely distorted if you do that. I'm going to hit Control Z to go back to normal. Instead, what you want to do is you want to double click so that the black lines show up on the edges. This is your cropping tool. With the cropping tool, you want to go ahead and crop out sections of your self-portrait that you don't need. So definitely the negative space in the background, maybe bring up the bottom a little bit and cut off some of your chest if you need to, or the sides, and then try to see if you can fit it better within that green rectangle. Mine is fitting widthwise right now, but the length is still too long. So I'm gonna bring it up even further until I see the little green showing through. I'm gonna move it over, double check that it fits perfectly. This looks like it fits width-wise and height-wise. It's ready to go. If you need to format your image at all, change the brightness of it, change the color of it, now would be the time. My photo is good, so now I'm ready to slide my grid over and place it on top of my photo. To grab the grid, you want to click on the outer edge and you want to see the four arrows. So click on it, find the four arrows right about there, and you can drag it right over, line it up. It should fit perfectly over your photo. But what you'll notice is once you place it, you can't see the grid. The reason is because of the grid was placed onto the digital sketchbook first, then you inserted your photo. So the photo is the first layer. So what we need to do is we need to right click and hit order and then hit bring to front. And if you were still selected on the grid itself, the grid will pop forward. And now you have a grid over your photo ready to go. Now you have a couple options here. If your grid is too light, let's say your photo is really dark, the grid is really light and you can't see it, what you can do is you can go up to the little tools at the top where it says border um, width and you can change it to two point, three point and make the lines thicker. Something else you could do is you could change the color. So if you have a really dark photo, you can change the grid to white or to yellow so that you can see the grid better. Do what works for you, make it thicker, change the color, and when you feel good about it, you can see the grid, you can see your photo, then you're ready to start drawing. Now you have two more options at this point. You can either draw from your Chromebook, so bring up page nine each time, you can zoom in, you're gonna draw one square at a time from the Chromebook to your final paper, nine by 12 paper, or there's an option to print. So if you go over to the toolbar on the top 
left hand side, you'll see the little print option. It might take a second to generate the preview, but what you're going to do at that point is you can print just page 9, which would be slide 10, and then you can work from your hard copy instead of working from the Chromebook. You have both options, whatever works best for you. If you have any questions throughout this process, if you're having trouble fitting your self-portrait into the green rectangle without distorting it, please let us know. We'd be happy to pull up your individual digital sketchbooks and size it for you. We would rather you have a strong self-portrait photo than a distorted one. Just let us know. Thanks for watching. Bye.